This is Marcus Korva with Studio MMA and MMA Nut, and we're here with Christian Moorcroft, the uh, heavyweight fight on Friday for UFC on Fox. I'm going to ask yeah. you a question you haven't been asked today. How are you feeling? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, I've seen a lot of open workouts. I've seen a lot of guys doing some crazy stuff. Your workout today was up there with Josh Barnett when he was fighting the heavyweight title. I don't know if you've ever seen that, where he was uh, going on and doing a, basically a pro wrestling workout in his open workout. You were having some fun out there today. Did you, are you always like this? Man, it was a little more than a pro wrestling workout. We were hitting mitts, and I just picked them up once, man, and had some fun trying to make everyone laugh here because everyone... Everyone around, the interview guys, the camera guys, the guys holding mitts, the ring, everybody's like this. <laughs> so just try to make the people smile. Like, see that? He's smiling, huh? And it worked. It worked when you were here as well. And it's the first time I see it, someone actually playing with the crowd like that. Yeah. You see it a little bit, but you were out there, you were running out there, high-fiving them. Um, is this you always? Yeah, man, of course. man. This is so awesome. Man, all of this, the coming to look, we're in this, we're at Lloyd Irving School, we're at Ed, well, Ed Clay School, Lloyd Irving uh, trains here and everything like that. All these phenomenal athletes that are standing over here watching us, everybody in the UFC, all the people. You know, man, this is fun, man. If you get to get to, you get to, to showcase your talent on the world stage, you know what I mean? It'd be like you, it'd be like you on, uh, you know, CNN or Fox or, you know. I'd, I'd prefer to be in the UFC, Dana. Oh, you would prefer to be in the UFC. <laughs> Even if you were fighting somebody who was better than you and maybe might uh, l l kick your legs off, you would love to fight in the UFC? Because I would, because that's what I'm doing on Friday. Right. So this is what you would do too, right? That's what I do. That makes two of us. <laughs> All right. So, um... You forced over Shuvan, and uh, and it was a good fight. Yeah. He did catch you, but then Pat Barry forced over Shuvan as well. Right. And looking at height difference, it's pretty similar. You're a little bit shorter than Sefer Shuvan, but not right. that much. Uh, do you feel that height difference is gonna make be the difference in the fight on Friday? Well, yeah. Obviously, I've got more more distance, and I can uh, probably stay away from him a little better. And uh, you know, if I'm sure it'd be a little easier for him if I was six foot, and it'd be a little easier for me if I had a, a huge pedigree of kickboxing like him. And it's man, it's going to be a good fight. You know, Pat Bray is a great guy. Everybody out there is a great guy, and I can't wait to can't wait to put on a show for everybody and go out there and have a fight. You know, I actually didn't know you were this funny up until today. There and Pat, right there. <laughs> There he is right there. Oh, oh. oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's do one together. How about that? All right. So, I would like a prediction for Friday night. Leg drop off the top of the cage from Barry. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing that would ever happen. I just want everyone to notice that I am taller than this guy. All right? <laughs> and as long as I'm taller than this guy, then I'm all right. Not by much, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are, you are, you are. <laughs> pitch, man. This is... I've, I've I, I 35 too. Goals, aspiration, life's aspirations to be six feet at least one time. I think that with certain nutrition, I can hit another growth spurt after 32. <laughs> it's possible. I, I've heard. I have heard such rumor. It might happen. I don't know. Can you guys do something funny in the cage on Friday? Just something. Just do something you decided to do. Um, do something. Decide to do something. Okay. Something, something, no, I mean like, I don't know, high five, do patty cake, something like that. Just have it right now. Start playing numbers? We can just, just start, just get, hit the just whole routine? Mary Mac. Yeah, you're right. That'll be dope. That'll, we can make that happen. Let this guy go work out, man. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Did you see those? Did you miss that? That wasn't on, uh, the microphone wasn't on Pat, but Paz actually apparently taught you how to use Twitter. Yeah, I somebody somebody uh, got a hold of my Twitter password and everything like that, and was writing some silly tweets out there. You know what I mean? So I had, you. I had to clear it up. Yes, I did, and I thanked uh, Pat Barry at Hype or Die, uh, Pat Barry's Twitter, please. Yeah. You know? And if people want to follow you, how do they find you? Yeah, Christian M nineteen eighty six. Looking forward to seeing you on Friday night, mate. Thank All you. right, man. Thank you. Thanks. That's fun.